Hey, happy campers, Todd here at Great American RV Superstores. Today we're going to talk about another big one, sealant. But this time we're talking about sealant on the side of your unit. It's a different product than what's on your roof, and we want to touch on that today. So let's start. So no matter whether or not you have a solid fiberglass siding or the metal rigid siding like this, you're always going to have sealant in the front trim, compartment doors, uh, windows may have gaskets, but they're going to be cap sealed with silicone, uh, around your water heaters, so on and so forth. So we're going to look at that today. On this particular one, you can see these rigid sidings right here create a bigger void around that trim. Oftentimes we'll see that silicone start to open up in there and create a void and water gets in, runs down, and then it becomes an issue along the floor line and causes that floor to ride out. Lights, compartment doors, you can see silicone around it. You won't see as much silicone around the bottom because it gives water an opportunity to escape. Around the compartment doors, you may have screws on the interior. If it's on the outside of this gasket right here and you have screws right here, right here, right here, holding that compartment door in, you want to check the silicone around the tops of those screws as well. Around your windows, like I said, you'll have a gasket that you can see around it, but silicone around the top side. You want to check your silicone there for any voids. Any city water connections, black, flat, black tank flush connections, water heater, even your 50 amp service, so on and so forth. Anything you see on the side of your unit where a hole has been cut and something has been put in, it needs sealant. So today we're going to go over the application of that sealant real quick. And a lot of people get worried, oh man, it's going to be messy, it's going to be nasty, and it might be, but practice makes perfect. So very first thing you want to do is clean it. Just mild soap and water will be good enough. Clean it up real good. And take your silicone. Best tip that I can give you is make a little small cut at the top. And if, because if you do a big one, you're going to have a lot of silicone come out all over the place and it's going to be a mess. Okay. So we're going to take it and we're just going to run a small bead across that area. See, I got messy right there. That's okay. Right before it dries, take it, wipe it off. Take a little soap and water right on top of where you just sealed. Run your finger across it, flattens it out, makes it look nice and pretty. Let that soap and water dry on there. Let silicone dry for about 24 hours. Next day, you can go back and wash it up. So it's as easy as that to maintain the size of your units. These things should be checked every 90 days. Manufacturers do not cover it after that first 90 days. It's a customer responsibility, customer maintenance. So I see a lot of customers come in and they've neglected this and, it, and it's led to rotten floors and, and rotten walls and, and it's just, it's terrible. And I hate to see that for anybody. So that's why we wanna teach you the right way to do it, how to maintain it and keep up with it. So I hope you learned something from this one. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things on Facebook and YouTube. Share it with all your friends so they'll learn too. Thanks for watching here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.